All right, hey everybody, in this tutorial we are going to cover some of the basics in iMovie and we are going to make our very own short film with a lot of the features that iMovie provides. So let's get going. I am kind of here in this iMovie start screen right here and you can open it up and get to something similar to this. And we want to create a new movie right there. I am going to create a movie, not a trailer. I like to do the movie. It gives me a bit more customizable uh, options there. And it will bring me into this screen. So we are going to need to import our media, which in this case is three videos that I shot. And it is going to tell the story of a man who saw something and it got the better of him and then he resolved to do better the next time. So I need to get those three clips into here and then this is where our actual movie is going to be made. So if I go to this little arrow up here, I can just click on that and that will go to my import screen. And I have my files on my computer. So this down here is where all of your files on the computer are gonna be. And this is where anything that you may have plugged in uh, will be up here. So I happen to have my iPad plugged in. So if I were to click on here, oh, I have all these things from various movies and things we've shot at school. So if I wanted to import them, I could. Uh, one thing that people kind of mess up when they're importing things is there, there's this little check thing. If you hide the imported, like it won't be there the second time you come around. So if you're looking for something, uh, don't have that checked. But what I want to do is I want to go to my desktop where my thing is saved. And where is that? Or is it in, maybe it's in downloads actually. There we go. So I'm gonna go to downloads and iMovie tutorial. I have three videos in there. So I am just going to click these, use shift to select them all. And I am going to import all of my movies. And now you can see that I have three clips right here. So I want to take them and I want to put them down. So I am going to, if you click on it, just click on it like that. It'll select the whole thing and you could drag it down. And if you press spacebar, it will play through here. So I'm going to press spacebar. Go. Yeah, go. Oh, my favorite chocolate chip brownies. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. And I could press that little icon right there, or I could press space again, and that will pause it. Now, you can see in the beginning here, there's a lot of stuff that I don't actually need for my movie. So what I can do is I can make that shorter. So let me, if I go right here, you can see those two arrows with the little bar in the middle. And if I drag it up here, this will make it shorter. So now if I start it, oh, I dragged it too much, so I need to bring it out this way. Let's try it. There we go, that's a great start. Now I can go here. And I wanna clip it back there too. Good, so I have the first part of my movie. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put all three clips down here and then we'll see some of the things that we could add to make our movie even better. So let's try this one right here. Hmm. That is the last scene of my movie. Like, do I have to bring that back? And no. So I can, once I get these down here, I can move them around. So I'm just going to get this last scene of my movie ready. Okay. There we go. All right. That's my final scene. And then my middle scene, if I were to like drag it into there. I could, hmm, everything, I, I lost everything. That's, if I go here, this is where my zoom is. So I could zoom in, I could zoom out. Be very careful of zooming way out because it kind of, you can make things really, really long and that gets really annoying. So I will zoom to about there so I can see everything. Move in. And this is my second scene. So let me see where I should start this. that will end about there. So again, I'm going to drag this little clip right there, use my two arrows, drag it there. And now I have a pretty good oh, setup for a movie. My favorite chocolate chip brownies. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, why did I eat so many of them? Oh. I'm never going to do that again. Only apples for me. 
Okay, so it's not exactly Citizen Kane, but it's it has a semblance of a plot. But what I want to do, I want to add a little bit more to it. Like, I need a little, some extra stuff. So I want to have a little intro in the beginning. So what I could do is I could add a title. And it gives you all different kind of options down here. So if you were to kind of click on it, you can preview it, see which one you want. And I will go with this one. And if you drag it down, and put it in the front, and it will be for four seconds. If you want to make it longer, you could just expand it like that or go shorter. And if you were to click on it, then go up here. I will call this movie That's Too Much. It's much capitalized. I don't know. That's too much, man. This is going to bother me. So sorry if I'm... Ooh. Sorry if I'm grammatically incorrect. That's too much, man. Grammatical, the movie. I want to capitalize much. There we go. Okay, cool. So I have this. So it starts off. And then it goes into there. Now, this, like, it has that black background, and that's okay. But I want something a little fancier. So what we can do is anything we put under here that will show up under the writing. So if you go to backgrounds, you could choose all these different types of backgrounds. And some are static, just the color. And some are, they, uh, they'll move like this little blob thing. You can also get a picture from the internet if you wanted to and use that. So let me put this blob here, put it under there. Sometimes it gets weird. So I'm gonna cut that, drag it in there. Oops, put, and put it over like that. There we go. For some reason, iMovie can get weird sometimes, and it makes you like put your background first and then the thing you want on top of it. So I should have done that in the other order. So now if I do it, cool. And let's say I want to change something about the background. Let's go to the little... Okay. You could change... You could put little filters on it. And you could do this, that doesn't look very good, but if you wanted like an old Western look on your video, you could do that. I kind of play with it how you want and get a little, like that. So you got the little telephone. So all of the effects can be done over here. And I think a good way of that, like is just to kind of experiment around that with um, yourself and it's fun. So I have that, but now I want to add some music in too. So I'm going to go to audio and I want to go to sound effects and it gives me all kinds of little sound effects I could do. So actually, I think I'm going to choose that. Um, but if you were to go down to like jingles that has actual music, so, all right, so you can kind of pick what you want. So music is jingles, but I got this ambient effect was pretty good. No, not that one. This one. Yeah, I'm going to choose that one. I just take it and I drag it in. And I want to make it the length of the clip. So now if I do it. Great. Now, that was good. But one thing that I notice is that the sound just kind of cuts out. And we really don't want to do that. That's kind of annoying. So I'm going to drag this over to here. So it goes into my movie. But then if I, you can see how it switches from those arrows to this, uh, to these two arrows. If I take those two little arrows and pull it that way, it will fade out. So now when I do it, oh, kind of goes favorite. gradually oh, into it and has that really eyes. nice effect. So now between here and here, like I just go from eating way too many chocolate chip brownies to being sick. I'd like to add, add another little effect in there too. So if I go to transitions, these allow it to cut in between. So ooh, that, if I go into there, put a little transition. Oh, why did I eat so many of them? Oh. And I can mess around with any of these that I want. And I think that's about it. If you wanted to do some things like I want to control the uh, the volume of this. I could either go like that, 
change that, but I find that a little tedious sometimes. It's easier to go like that. You could change the volume of each clip. You never want to make it so that like you have to control the volume yourself on the computer. So if I were to, let's see. That's pretty good. Um, and then also at the end, if you wanted to add some credits, you could do title, credits, and you could just fill in what you want there. Uh, but just experiment around with this. And that's once you are ready, you can share it. I normally just share it as a file. And give it a title. That's too much. Next, where you want to save it, save it. And that will save it as a .mov file or uh, some type of file that you can share with other people. And that is how you can make a movie on iMovie to share with your friends and impress everyone. So this is obviously a very simple beginning, but I hope you could take those skills and then go from there. So thanks for watching and have a good one.